it's really designed especially for them and it's really a reward to have something like that on this campus for, for those kids. A couple of features that we did for them, um, the flooring is um, the stripes are 10 yards. So if they want to line up in here, they can, but we didn't want to make it look like a football field necessarily. And behind the drapes, they have uh, mirrors so that as they're learning to do their moves and making sure everything's tight like it needs to be, they can watch themselves in the mirrors when they open that up. And they don't want to play real loud when those open because they get more reverberation from that. Um, Across the hall, they have their practice rooms. Um, we walked past the percussion room where they'll actually be able to get in there and the drum line will be able to practice and watch themselves in the mirrors. And then it ties directly into their old space, so that they and they And um, that's where the other renovated spaces are. There's offices in there for the band instructors and actually all of the fine arts teachers. But then there's the other spaces for orchestra and choir and what have that. And it's where the facilities and the restrooms are. Um, the old restrooms, but then they'll also be able to tie and go down the ramp in the addition to the locker rooms that are off the auxiliary gym, so now those kids have a place to dress at their school as well. Pretty amazing. We've, we've given them a chance to kind of move in. Uh, obviously, everything that you see will have a spot once we finish. So, if we were to come back uh, in March, everything would be out of here pretty much because there's storage that's provided for it. Uh, we have used huge space, spaces for storage. For instance, all of the percussion instruments have an entire room 